Hey folks, I'd like you to meet Bob Shoup with Caterpillar. And Bob's been around, we've talked before. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Roger. Nice to have nice you to here you again. again. Yes. yes. Appreciate it. Well, I'll tell you, Bob represents a certain specific area of Caterpillar that is really quite interesting and should be to everybody. And we're talking about robotics and safety and those kinds of specific work sites that bring a huge degree of danger to not only equipment, but people working there. Give us an idea of what you got on your boilerplate right now. Well, thank you, Roger. Well, Caterpillar right now is proud to introduce Remote Task. It's a line of sight remote control system up to a thousand feet away. Uh, it operates across our D-series skid steer loader line. And with that, all the control options that you have inside the machine, you, you can produce outside the machine at a safe distance from harm's way. Well, this, I, I'm thinking just offhand, particularly for the demo business. Oh, These demolition. These guys got to be just really kind of more interested, if not enamored, over something like this and the capability and the availability of it. Absolutely. It's available today. It goes on our D-Series machine, takes about an hour to install. The machine can be used both as a, a normal skid steer loader as well as a remote robot. Now what that does for us being we go across all our product line of work tools, for instance an H55 hammer, you can put it on the front of a machine and go along the edge of a parking deck and start demolition Eat at a wind. safe distance without worrying about a man's safety. And I'm sure there are parameters built into it that say you're, you're, you're right at the edge here, or don't go over the edge. <laughs> well, to a degree, but we do have a sure. line of sight distance of about 1,000 feet, and the batteries within the machine last 24 hours of the recharge of seven, but seven hours. But with that, you have two sets of batteries, so you're never without the touch of the machine. Uh, before we started the interview, Bob's telling me he's been with CAT for like 40 years. You've got to be just like a kid in a candy store at this stage of the game. Well, that's true. This is a real good opportunity to, to really show the progress Caterpillar's made in the last 40 years. You know, well, it's I, tremendous. You can imagine. And the ergonomics, but the safety. The safety, Roger, is huge. And this is a very good introduction for us to continue us operating safely and with safe equipment. We offer the best. Well, not only the safety aspect of it, but just the technology and how it's being applied to the everyday workforce and the machines and the safety of the personnel, of course, but this robotics thing and what's gonna come next and driverless vehicles and everything, it all gets kind of put in this pot, but you can separate it out and go into various streams. Right which is getting technical in itself, but it's just so darn interesting. Right, Roger. I'd just like to say a couple of another application processes for this remote is in the shipyards. Another area when you're unloading a barge or a ship, sure. you can basically lower the machine into the hull and operate it from a safe distance and not worry about collapse or suffocation in large, large under, you know, ship carriers, barges as well as foundries, you know, up around furnaces, yes. places that men don't go. Yes. Uh, remediating a problem with the police. If you have a, an area that they need to uh, neutralize a risk, the remote task will As in its work areas. That's correct. Of which there are multitudes. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. Hey, good. I Roger. really appreciate you stopping by. I love this message. And folks, if you have any interest at all in robotics or vehicle safety, construction business, Contact the folks at Cat. They know what they're doing. Thanks, Thanks so much, Roger. You Good bet. to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.